I said it, I'm in the 215 Mobility. I got some smoke for y'all eating ass again. So, a horrific incident took place in Rock Hill, South Carolina with South Carolina State's very own Philip Adams, the former NFL player. He actually killed five people and injured one. A prominent doctor by the name of Robert Leslie, who was 70 years old, as well as his wife, Barbara Leslie, 69 years old, and their two grandchildren, Ada, nine, Noah, five, last name Leslie as well. James Lewis was 38 years old, found outside with a gunshot wound, and he died from that simply just from working on that land at the time. Six people were injured. Well, one person was injured, bringing it to the total of six. Um, and they were rushed to the hospital. And y'all keep your prayers out for that individual. Philip Adams played 78 games in the NFL over five seasons for six teams. He was drafted 2010 as a seventh rounder by the 49ers. He played with the Pats, Seahawks, the Raiders, the Jets, and he ended his career with the Falcons in 2015. In 2012, he sustained a serious head injury, you know what I'm saying? And they're trying to question, hey, could that be the case? He couldn't be a part of that concussion settlement thing due to the fact that he, you know, was not a retired player at the time. So I would like you guys to pretty much tell me how y'all feel about this. I know this is very alarming. Please leave a comment as well as condolences. You know what I mean? Hit my cash out and all of that. Okay, that was just, I don't know why I do that. And it's a serious moment. My bad, y'all. I'll be playing too much. But listen, here go the video where, you know, they get a little bit more in depth. You know what I mean? We using this, as my man say, educational purposes. Educational purposes. You feel me? So, here it go. Let's go. Tragic story. Um, we know at least five people were killed during this mass shooting at a home in York County, South Carolina, most of them from the same family. A sixth person was seriously injured from gunshot wounds. This happening at a home in an area called Rock Hill. And as you mentioned, Poppy, one of the victims was a prominent and well-known doctor in the area, according to the Sheriff's Department, 70-year-old Dr. Robert Leslie, as he has been identified by the York County uh, coroner, along with his wife, 69-year-old Barbara Leslie, and their two Two grandchildren, a nine-year-old and a five-year-old, they were all found dead in that home uh, from gunshot wounds in uh, York County. Um, there was also a fifth victim, uh, 30-year-old James Lewis. He was found dead outside the home. Authorities say that he had been working at the home when the gunshots rang out just before 5 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon. And in a strange and sad twist, it turns out that the York County Sheriff's spokesperson said that he knew this doctor very well. In fact, it was his physician growing up. Here he is. I've lived in Rock Hill my entire life, and Dr. Leslie was my doctor growing up. So that's how this is kind of a little, little hard on me. So, uh, uh, so, but Dr. Leslie has been one of those people that everybody knows. He started Riverview Medical Center in, in Rock Hill, um, and it's been a, a staple in Rock Hill for years. So um, a lot of people know who Dr. Leslie is. How are you guys? A lot of people know who Dr. Leslie is. And according to the website for Riverview Hospice and Palliative Care, where he was a founder and medical director, Dr. Leslie had been practicing in the area uh, for quite some time, and he was board certified in emergency medicine. It said that he had four grown children and eight grandchildren. The suspect apparently in custody. They are still trying to figure out uh, the motive behind the shooting.